All right, we got a cat excavator. It's a 314D LCR. It's like a 2011, I think. Um, code 3257-3. That fault code is for the intake air heater relay above normal operating range. So, I'll show you guys some things I found out. Hopefully it'll help somebody. So your intake air heater relay, try to get it to focus here. You got two big studs, same thing as like a starter re relay or solenoid. You got one that's coming in from battery power, one that's going out on the other side there. The two ones with a plug here and there on the other side. These two are what controls this to tell it to turn on and off. So on CAT, we got the two big solenoid wires there. If you can see it, one is red and the other one's yellow. I'm trying to make this the best way possible, sorry. And there's also a little yellow wire down in there that goes to the side that goes to the actual air heater or the intake air grid heater. Um, that wire sends a signal back to the ECM and then tells it whenever it is basically above normal range or if it's shorted to power, it would let it know, hey, it's above range. So that's what it shows right now. Cat has a, like a bulletin out or a service magazine for this and saying you got to replace this wiring harness that goes from that grid heater uh, relay all the way up to the grid heater. So I check for power and ground. And uh, we had power and ground coming to it whenever I turned it on with Cat ET. You should not have nothing on this side whenever the key's off you should have ground on both of these because this is ground and it runs through the grid eater and you should have ground there so we didn't have ground there we had nothing um so whenever we put ground to it it got the code to go away on the bottom of this guy like a little inline fuse and that guy right there is blown so Probably just want to get the grid heater and then also get that updated monitor just in case. Hopefully, it helps you out.